Once upon a time, Nigeria had one of the most vibrant national carriers on the continent. At its heyday in the early 80s, Nigeria Airways boasted about 30 aircraft in its fleet, flying several routes across the continent and beyond. But then long-term mismanagement, corruption and a huge debt profile eventually took their toll, forcing the airline to close shop in 2002. President Buhari now says he wants to see Nigeria Airways back in the sky, directing officials of the country's Ministry of Aviation to speed up the process. But aviation experts say the economics don't add up. I don't think national career is a need for Nigeria today because if you take what we have at oil today at 50 naira or $50 a barrel on the average and going down to $40, uh, if you take our needs, our wants and our likes, if you put national carrier, how many percentage of Nigerians are really flying? And with our resource today, are we going to put $5 billion into a national carrier that will probably not have an end? What is the objective of setting up a national carrier? Is it lower fares? Is it a robust network? Is it better operational capability? If yes, I do not think setting up a national carrier can achieve any of these. Nigeria is currently battling a serious cash crunch owing to the sustained drop in the price of oil, which accounts for the bulk of government revenue. Unless the government is able to get the private sector to fund the initiative, it's difficult to see how it is going to generate money to finance the re-establishment of the national carrier. The Nigerian government should look at investing in infrastructure, empowering the existing airlines. These are companies that are already at the right operational capability. All they need is cheaper funding, lower governmental um, taxes, good infrastructure, and uh, they are going to fly your flag. The Nigeria aviation industry is currently struggling. Its contribution to the country's GDP is a meager 0.4%. Virtually all the domestic airlines are heavily in debt and struggling to remain in the sky. Experts say that is what the government should be bothering itself about. The Basel rights being signed between different countries have to all be revisited. Uh, where you have international carriers today coming, doing multiple destinations into your country and city hoppings inside your country. No other country will allow that. We are not protecting our market. Today, passengers that are supposed to be, airlines that are supposed to be coming into to Lagos and we distribute for them. But the policies today, I mean, it's not there. Despite the country's experience with the defunct Nigeria Airways, the government appears determined to press ahead with its plan to float a new national carrier. But one thing it is not saying is how it intends to fund the project. Deji Badmo, CCTV, Lagos, Nigeria.